Hello, um, uh, this is Constantine uh, Pulford and I'm going to show you, uh, give you a tutorial on how to uh, do a OK Muzzle Flash. I got a video here, play it again here for you guys. That's what it basically looks like. Um, let's get started. So in After Effects, go to File, Import File find the file you want to import and I think mine is here and uh, drag it into new comp button that basically me shooting a gun I'm going to trim it so it's not too long All right, and uh, I'm gonna scale this down so I don't have to deal with extra stuff. So now you got the video. I am going to quickly colorize this using Magic Bullet Colorista. You don't absolutely have to do this. It just makes the video look better. So, uh, no, sorry. I really like colorizing stuff and give it that nice warm look highlights a little bit shadows and scroll down saturation that ah, looks okay looks decent so yeah and then what I'm gonna do uh, you can strip an image from internet for this and Google Images if you have Firefox and blah blah blah. But um, I have Action Essentials 2, which I have to go find. Hang on. My document Action Essentials 2. You can purchase it from Video Copilot.net or you can look up on YouTube or somewhere how to get it for free. I'm pretty sure there's stuff like that. Or you can go online and strip an image of a muzzle flash and use it but I like using these better because they have smoke and stuff I'll try to upload the muzzle flashes onto the video so I got my muzzle flash it's muzzle flash number 17 I'm going to place it at the end of my barrel like so and there's actually a rule I've heard about muzzle flash being being as big as your gun so I'm going to try to follow the rule here. Rotate it just a bit. Place it. Voila. And now uh, I'm going to quickly press P. Oh, wait. Actually, sorry. Go in time where I'm about to shoot my gun. So, like right around here. Place it. Press P. Position and move one frame. I usually muzzle flash is one frame long, but I'm doing it two frames because I am lazy. And so now we have a muzzle flash. Usually to colorize muzzle flashes to match my scene, I go back into here or copy my color from my main footage or this makes it actually looks better. You um, click a four and change the transfer mode to add. Makes it make it look much better. All right. The next thing we're gonna do is add some lighting. What you wanna do is you wanna grab your bottom footage, duplicate it, Control D. Uh, I'm not sure on a Mac. You can just go to edit, duplicate on a Mac if, because I'm not a Mac user. Um, go forward and go in time where your muzzle flash begins and trim, trim that you can either um, you can either scroll with the, or grab and cut it with the mouse or you can uh, press alt begin bracket and alt and bracket I'm just gonna do this quickly actually sorry um, so the two frames are up here. So 
Got the lighting for two frames. One, two, okay. Um, then what you wanna do is you wanna click and hold and get the ellipse tool and basically make a circle around your muzzle flash. Not too big, but big enough. And move it like so. Then on your footage, the the one you duplicated, instead of from nor uh, change the transfer mode to add, gives that lighting right here. Then grab the pen tool and just make a mask around the face, of where if we hit the light on and gun right here a little bit on the body, and uh, then grab all your masks, you know. Uh, just hold shift and click on the first one and, and uh, press F turn off your masks which are here and just you don't want the harsh edge edge right there so you just feather it out like so and that makes it look better gives a little lighting to your video so what we basically have here, if we play it, it's okay I guess, it's a little slow on loading. There we go, see it looks much better. And then um, I like to add shell ejection, I really like to make my muzzle flashes look realistic so I usually go to a uh, Action descent. You don't have to do this. Just this is for my own. I don't know, but it just makes it look better. The muzzle flash and the stuff. You can sim if you don't have Action Essentials too. You can simply go online and um, strip an image of a shell. I am using the 45 shell and. Uh, just cut out the shell and you have the shell you can animate spinning it but if you do have action essentials to it helps so much now I'm gonna zoom in here and scale it a little bit more and now I'm gonna press on position P press P and click on the stopwatch move one frame Animate it going out, move another frame, keep animating it, another frame. Move another frame. Oh, that's two frames. And animate it down, move another frame. And there. Now what we basically have is sort of that shell ejection, you can see it. Doesn't look good yet because you don't have motion blur. So what you wanna do is press F4, click the motion blur button right here. I'm using After Effects CS5, CS4 should have this too. You click the motion button, motion blur for the comp and for the layer itself. And now if we play it, you can barely see it, but you can see it. Maybe I should scale it a little more, just so it's visible. And that's basically it. You can see it sort of right there, which makes it look better. And like I said, uh, the final result is this a little as I did some stuff a little differently um, don't think I have motion blur on this uh, my it kind of bounces off the wall anyway thanks for watching please subscribe rate and comment blah 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 thank you bye